Welcome to writing data from MATLAB to MDF files. In this video, you will read data from an existing MDF file into MATLAB, process the data by removing unusable samples and adding calculation results, create a new MDF file with the same file metadata as the existing one, and write the processed data into the new MDF file. Measurement Data Format, or MDF, is a binary file format to store test and measurement data. A simplified model to represent the structure of an MDF file is a three-level hierarchy. A file contains channel groups, and a channel group contains channels. There are two key elements in an MDF file, the data in each channel and the metadata applicable to the file, the channel groups, and the channels. First, open access to the MDF file using the MDF function. Inspect details about the two channel groups. Read data in channel group 2 from channels named airflow and fuel rate. If your ultimate goal for reading channel group data is to write to a new channel group while carrying over the metadata for channel group and channels, you need to set include metadata to true. Note that we're using the new name equals value syntax for passing name value arguments. This is supported since release R2021A. Next, view metadata for channel group two and all channels in this group. Metadata are stored as custom properties for the timetable. Metadata for the channel group have names starting with channel group and apply to the entire timetable. Metadata for individual channels have names starting with channel and apply to each variable. Before processing the data, let's first visualize the data by creating a stacked plot. You can see that fuel rate stays at zero from around 1 92nd until the end, which indicates a possible fault during measurement. For this application, the data points are unusable where the value of fuel rate is invalid. Therefore, you decide to discard the samples where fuel rate is zero. Reduce the data samples to only keep the samples where fuel rate is not zero. Next, let's calculate the air fuel ratio and assign the result to a new timetable variable named air fuel ratio. Inspect the updated channel metadata and note the missing values for the newly added channel. Let's update the channel group comment to provide information about the processing you just performed on the data. First, get the current channel group comment and append additional text describing the update on the original data. Then, update the channel comment for airflow, fuel rate, and air fuel ratio. You can use either the variable index or the variable name to index into the channel comment property. Inspect the channel metadata and note the updated values in channel group comment and channel comment. Leave the remaining missing values as is. Later, when you write to an MDF file, the default and derived values will be applied automatically. In the next step, you will create a new MDF file named vehicledatanew.mf4 that has the same file metadata as the original one. First, use MDF info to obtain a structure that contains file metadata for the original file named vehicledata.mf4. Call function MDF create with optional argument file info set to the structure just obtained. This creates a new skeleton MDF file on disk with the same file metadata. To confirm that MDF create has correctly applied the file metadata, call MDF info again to examine the file metadata of the new file. Now that we have the data processed and metadata updated, 
we're finally ready to write to the new MDF file using the MDF write function. Specify the target MDF file name and name of the timetable. Because this file has no channel group yet, this operation writes data into channel group number one. To confirm that MDF write has updated the MDF file as expected, open vehicledatanew.mf4 for verification. Read data from the three channels of interest in channel group one with metadata included. Note the reduced number of samples and the new channel named airfield ratio. Last, inspect the metadata for channel group one and channels in this group. Note the updated channel group comment and channel comment. In this video, you have learned how to write data read and processed from an existing MDF file into a new MDF file. Check out more examples in the documentation to learn about other workflows of writing to MDF files. Take advantage of the MDF functionalities in Vehicle Network Toolbox to read from, write to, sort and finalize MDF files, and work with MDF file attachments.